Hello Leo, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your Love and Life reading focused on the first half of August from the 1st through the 15th. General reading as always, it will not resonate with every single person. So please do take from this what makes sense for you and release the rest. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, all of that info is down below in the description box, guys. And I will, of course, include a link to the decks that you see here today, Leo. So we've got three card decks in front of me here that we're going to be using for the focus messages for this reading. The first deck is by Fire Witch Tarot. WTF is the problem. The one here in the middle is Sacred Karmic Shadow Work Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. And the last one is by Mystic Moon, Twin Flame Shadows. And of course, you don't have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. That's just the name of the deck. All right, Leo. So let's dive right into this reading and let's take a look and see what are the challenges and shadows this time around. That is what we're focusing on for this reading here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Leo, for Cross Watchers and anyone else who's been guided to tune in. All right. What? is the problem. WTF is the problem. <laughs> Dude, chill. You're overreacting. So somebody that you're dealing with, perhaps at this time, Leo, you feel that they're overreacting. Or this could be what the person that you're focused on for this reading is saying to you. So we'll have to see, of course, how the rest of the reading unfolds and how that plays a part in the overall message. Okay, let's grab another one. What is your second focus card, Leo? Angels and spirit guides, please, for this reading, Love and Life. First half of August, focusing on challenges and shadows for this connection. I'm guided to this card here, Spoiled Brat. Okay, so somebody is a spoiled brat. That is either how they feel about you or how you feel about them. You know, dude, chill, you're overreacting, but you're also dealing with a spoiled brat, maybe. Okay, let's grab one card from the Twin Flame Shadows deck. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Leo. In Love and Life, focusing on challenges and shadows, first half of August for Leo. And of course, those who will be celebrating birthdays, I hope it's amazing and wonderful. There's this unstable vibe that's coming through. So we're going to have to take a look and see what's causing this situation to be unstable. First of all, if this is your person who's coming through as a spoiled brat, that's definitely contributing to the challenges. Okay, so let's add to this. Let's grab a card or some cards and insight from this deck. This is the Pining Rose Volume 2 Twin Flame Ascension deck by my friend Amy of Calico Moon. So let's see what else here, Leo. What's contributing to the challenges and shadows of your relationship right now and how it's affecting your life overall? We have disillusion, okay? So when a situation hits this energy of disillusion, it's come to an end. It has ended. You guys are not together at this point. So we've got confusion also coming through here. Maybe they are a little bit confused as to why things ended. Maybe they feel you are overreacting. But clearly things ended for a reason. And maybe you were just doing a little bit too much for this person and that's what they're used to. They're spoiled. No matter how much you did for them, it was just never enough. You know, and maybe they're just really unclear as to, you know, why did this end? It's like, why can't you just keep doing things for me? You know, which of course is very unbalanced. That's not going to work. What else? We have grace. Okay. Okay. So maybe you bowed out of this situation and just were very graceful about how you did it. You know, you're not the spoiled brat here, maybe. And that you just handled yourself with grace, perhaps. Now, for some of my Leos, this could be reversed. And this, could, this is your person feeling like you're the spoiled brat. That's just what I'm picking up here for some of you guys. This is their interpretation 
of how you are with them and why the situation ultimately is very unstable and why things had to come to an end. We have wanting. So female figure in this photo, female figure in the spoiled brat card, and then we've got male figures in the confusion card and the wanting card. So it could have been for some of you, this is very specific, but this is what I'm picking up for some of you guys, that it could be my feminines who decided to end the relationship because this masculine felt that the feminine was a spoiled brat. But now that you guys are in separation, my masculine might be really confused. Like, did they do the right thing? Because there's this energy of still wanting this connection. And, you know, I just realized this does... It does say, dude, <laughs> dude, chill. So it could be my feminines saying this to the masculine. It's like, dude, chill, you're overreacting. And, you know, maybe this masculine has had some time to think and now they might be regretting their decision and they're confused. They don't know what to do. Recognition. Some of you guys, if you're female feminine tuning in your person your guy might have a beard or facial hair and this person is now recognizing maybe the error of their ways that they might have said something that they shouldn't have recognizing the connection the value of the relationship so I have a feeling here my feminines were possibly wrongly accused of being a particular way when in fact that really wasn't the case. But there are probably those of you tuning in feeling like, okay, well, yeah, I am a spoiled brat, <laughs> you know, or that that's how your person is or was. And here we are with shadows. I mean, that's what we're focusing on for this reading, challenges and shadows. So with the shadows here, there are some aspects to this connection that needs to be addressed. The shadows, whatever is being hidden in the shadows, that needs to come to light, Leo, and it needs to be addressed. And I just noticed, you know, in this particular card, the spoiled brat, you know, we do have that energy of light right there in her hand. So my feminines, you might have a lot more power in your hands than you realize, maybe. And then we've got reversible. So even though things may not be working out right now, Things are unstable between you and your person. We do have this reversible card right here letting you know that it's fixable, that you can reverse the damage that has been done in this relationship and your person could do the same. So let's see if we can turn this around. Let's grab some messages here from Mystic Moon Oracles. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo in love and life, focusing on challenges and shadows for the first half of August. What else do we need to know? Okay, they're still devoted to you. They still have love for you. There's the light right there also. We've got that flame right there, which represents that light that can get you guys out of the shadows whatever is contributing to that shadow in your relationship. And then we've got admired and look at the light that's surrounding her. So my feminines, you're surrounded by this light and perhaps this masculine failed to recognize that before, but they see it now. My feminines, I feel you're also reinventing yourself. You're really working very hard at working on yourself whether that's physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, however way. 
But this masculine, I feel, has a lot of admiration for you. Again, if you're feminine, tuning in. We have release. Okay. We have disillusion. So you did disconnect. You did release this person from your life. But it's also the need to release resentment, release anything negative attached to this connection because it's not helping your progress as far as reinventing yourself. So part of this reinvention, I feel, is to work on releasing past baggage, any burdens that you might be carrying due to the challenges that you guys have dealt with in this partnership. And with that flame... Again, we have the light represented right there. Releasing what's keeping you guys in the shadows so that it can illuminate the path forward. We have cycles that are represented here. So clearly certain cycles have completed and it's now time to allow new cycles to come in. We've got settling also coming through here and it's falling right below shadows some of you guys may have settled for just keeping things in the shadows in this relationship but that ultimately is not going to work that's what's contributing to this unstable foundation perhaps in the connection you can't just settle for a mediocre connection or if something's wrong and you're both not addressing it just kind of going through the motions of the relationship. And ultimately, after a while, it's just not a healthy way of interacting. And we also have bound. This is picking up off of the devil energy in traditional tarot when it comes to this deck. So some of you guys might be focusing on a Capricorn here. The devil card is specifically Capricorn and it's feeling bound as this card says bondage, restriction, stagnation, feeling trapped in a situation and especially for my feminines. If you are feeling trapped in this connection with your masculine, perhaps that's why we have this disillusion card right here. You needed to release it. You needed to work on yourself. You needed to have love for yourself as well as this person. So let's add to this Leo with some tarot. This is the Flaming Roses Tarot deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo in love and life, focusing on challenges and shadows for the first half of August. And wouldn't it be nice to clear these challenges and shadows, especially for those who will be celebrating birthdays and starting a new year of life and just starting over and releasing what really is no longer serving a purpose in your life and bringing you towards this light right here. Whether you and this person ever work it, work it out, you know, this is something that you can bring for yourself to get yourself out of the shadows, out of the darkness. Because sometimes people affect us so negatively that we forget that we ourselves are saturating ourselves in a very dark energy and we can get ourselves out of that. Angels and spirit guides for Leo. What else do we need to know, please? We've got the Eight of Wands, okay? So this is your own energy, Leo. That's fire. Quick changes and traveling. Some of you guys might be thinking about traveling right now. And making these quick changes that are referred to in this card. This Eight of Wands for me too represents the arrows of love. And if this person that you're focused on for this reading... First of all, for my feminines, I do feel your masculine still wants you. They're now finally recognizing the connection and the love is here. They're devoted still to the connection. This is a reversible situation. 
And those arrows of love might just bring you guys back together. You know, that Cupid's arrow might just ultimately hit this masculine again to the point where they're able to replace these shadows with good energy, which is part of the, the vibe of that Eight of Wands. This person, they're still into you. That's what I'm feeling from that. And then you've got the Seven of Coins right next to it which is Earth, Energy, Pentacles, Coins, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. For some of you, we already have the Capricorn reference from this bound card, which again is the Devil Energy. Patience, Harvest of Rewards. So there is this need for patience here in this scenario, Leo. The Seven of Coins for me is a card where it's telling you, you just got to wait and see how this is going to unfold. Give it a little bit more time and see how things play out. And in the meantime, continue to work on yourself, continue this reinvention. And then we've got the five of coins, which is more earth energy. Left out in the cold alone. So you left them out in the cold and they're very alone right now. And for those who live in a cold climate, it could apply to that too. They're feeling empty, like something's missing, alone. Just very sad energy is what I pick up from that. They're very insecure. They're allowing their worries to overtake their thoughts. We have the Seven of Cups here too, Leo. So this is water energy right here. Multiple options, imagination. That could have also contributed to the problem here, the challenge for some of you, and why it's in the shadows, because this person might have entertained other options in love and romance. But as you can see, this is the next card. We have the strength card, which is picking up off of your own energy. Leo, this is all about respect right here and courage, having the courage to do the right thing, having the courage to learn from one's mistakes, having the courage to reinvent yourself and to learn from the past, to release things that need to go. And the strength card is another card of patience and just having the understanding and will to know that you can overcome these obstacles and challenges and whatever is keeping you in the shadows because this is your own vibe right here. That strength card represents you specifically, Leo. And also, if you have forgotten just how strong you actually are, this is reminding you Don't forget how strong you are as a person. Strength of character as well as physical strength, you know? We've got the Ten of Wands. More fire, which is more of your own energy. Leo, so whatever these heavy burdens are that you're holding on to, I feel you're working on that because we've got the release card right here. So I know you're working on it. Keep working on it. And your person, they've got their own heavy burdens that they need to deal with and address. So once you do that, I do feel these shadows and these challenges will dissipate. Each person has to take responsibility for their own actions, their role in what created this disillusion in the relationship. So now we've got the two of wands. We've got lots of wands coming through here, picking up off of your own fire energy. Leo, this is all about making decisions right here. So you've got decisions that you need to make right now. Making plans for the future. If you and this person shared a home together, if you guys live together, perhaps part of the, the decision that you made when this came to an end was to move out. But what I can tell you here is that your person is still very much interested in you. They still want you. They recognize now 
that they still want you and that they love you perhaps that they are now ready to come towards you as a better partner a better person and then you've got more of your own energy six of wands which is pride and victory it's a beautiful card it's very successful energy with this you win basically you know you did the right thing and you went out when it comes to this scenario with this person you win the race you know very victorious here for you so that's awesome let's add to this with some romance angels messages so yeah have some patience this might still work itself out this is a reversible situation here so lay down those burdens take responsibility keep working on yourself and your person they're gonna have to do the same thing you know you can't help them with that that's their journey all right romance angels for leo in love and life in love and romance challenges and shadows first half of august let's see what else is coming up for you when it comes to love and romance look at this we have a honeymoon okay so this doesn't always have to refer to a marriage or going on a honeymoon um, it does say enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and we do have the reference to traveling with the eight of wands so for some of you guys perhaps later on in the year you might think about traveling you know holiday time christmas time thanksgiving perhaps latter half of the year you and your person if you're able to work through this perhaps you guys might take a trip possibly overseas i'm feeling european vacation for some of you and i know that that's been really difficult traveling as far as the pandemic so you know if it doesn't happen this holiday season it might take as long as next year which is i know it's a long time but perhaps that's why you're needing to have patience to see this through and in the meantime continue to work on yourself there are those of you however who are or were married to this person that you're focused on for this reading this disillusion card could ultimately represent a disillusion of marriage for some of you but the thing is what makes it so challenging is that you guys might ultimately still care for one another and still love each other we do have free yourself which we already know for some of you you've done that that's why it came to an end free yourself release if you haven't already done this i feel you're on your way to doing this what else please for leo playfulness okay so you and your person when you guys are together you could certainly have a lot of fun with this individual they enjoy your company lots of laughter lots of fun they could also be younger than you leo for some of you it's just a few years difference for some of you it could be a large age gap And part of the issue too for some of you is you might have been dealing with a player here you know we do have the seven of cups somebody who was entertaining other options and in order to reverse this this needs to be done you know they need to be able to put in the effort to create movement towards you and to fix what's broken in the partnership there is this need to be able to spend some time together and have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other exactly forgiving and learning is definitely needed here as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so yes definitely needed don't allow the past to continue to affect where you're at now and where you're ultimately going to end up the attraction between the two of you still here and here's that wedding card okay so we've got honeymoon and we have wedding so some of you guys might ultimately end up 
marrying this person. It's presenting itself here, so, you know, the situation involves marriage. Either you're already married to this person, or you guys are in separation, or you end up marrying this person someday. You know? So, it can apply to so many scenarios that are presenting itself here. All right, guys, so let's continue. Let's add to this here with... I wanted to grab some messages from my heart and soul love oracle deck. What else do we need to know, Leo? In love and life and the challenges and shadows that you have been dealing with when it comes to your person the first half of August. Let's take a look and see what presents itself here. Angels and spirit guides, please. Oh my gosh, the twin. Okay, so this card says, you are my twin flame. You are the other half of my soul. No one else could ever come close to the type of intense spiritual connection that we are blessed to share. I'm honored that you are mine to explore this thing called life with. My life partner, my best friend, my soul spouse, my forever love. The, dang, this is how they see you, Leo. The devotion is still here. This is a twin flame connection for some of you. And maybe you already know this. You've already done your own research and you realized, okay, we actually are twin flames. Mirror souls, a very special soul connection that you share with this person because they are the other half of your soul. They are your true energetic counterpart in this lifetime. And it might have taken separation for this person specifically to finally recognize that. Wow. And then we've got healing coming through. And we do have a female figure in this photo. So it does say, you hurt me. You shattered my hopes and dreams. You kept me in the shadows, ashamed of our love. You didn't appreciate my love, my time, my generosity, my heart, my presence. I had to work to find myself again, to bring myself towards the light, to heal me. You can't hurt me anymore. Okay, so for some of my feminines, you're putting your foot down or you did that already because this connection for some of you guys, it's done. But your person, your masculine, they want to fix what's broken here. That is so on point with what's presenting itself here in this reading. We have declaration also coming through, Leo. So this message reads, and the tattoo, just in case you guys didn't notice, it does say, I love you. Fear, shyness, apprehension, hesitation, uncertainty, rejection, anxiety. It stops us from saying it, but it's always so nice to hear it from the one who matters most to your heart, of course. So if your person never said these things to you, if they never told you that they loved you, that's because they were either afraid or apprehensive or they weren't sure if you were open to that if they would be rejected they just allowed their anxieties to get the best of them but they're coming through in this reading communicating that to you here leo that they do love you that they see you as this twin flame they still want you they're still devoted to the connection they admire you as a person finally recognition of the connection from your person and the only way really for them to realize this, to have that revelation, is when you left them out in the cold, is when you ended the connection, I feel. The next card says joy. It really was love at first sight the moment I saw you, from that first glance that I knew was meant for only me, the brush of your hand against mine, your heartwarming smile, and everything about you that brings me joy beyond measure. Thank you for choosing me for life. 
So I feel for some of you guys, you were in a very committed relationship with this person. Or for some of you, you were married to them. You made them happy, but they also dropped the ball somewhere along the line when it came to the relationship. Let's grab a couple more. So we've got words coming through here. Life can be harsh, love even harsher. Words pack a punch and sometimes it breaks skin. We start to believe those painful, awful, hurtful words and eventually convince ourselves that it's true. You are more than those words. The right love simply needs to remind you of that. So if you guys have had very painful words exchanged between the two of you, that contributed to the challenges, of course, and what's keeping this connection in the shadows. So it's very important to note that words can be very healing as well. So if your person through these heart to heart conversations can make up for whatever harsh, painful words they said to you before, then these words that they come towards you with can be very healing instead of very damaging moving forward. All right. And last one, we have vows. Promises are made all the time. There's so much power behind the words we speak when we make promises, and it sometimes makes a person wonder why they often get broken. Let's not break ours. Vows. Okay, so this is reversible. Again, it's fixable. If two people can actually put in the effort to make it happen. So yeah, some of you guys were, <clears throat> excuse me, some of you guys were married or planned to get married, or some of you guys might have been engaged to be married. There is a commitment here, vows, promises that were broken. But I feel this person really wants to fix what's broken, to undo the damage. So if that's possible, which I feel it is, then this connection can overcome the challenges. Wow. All right, guys, so let's add to this. Let's add to this with some signs from Spirit. This is by Mystic Moon. Let me set these guys aside. What is Spirit? What else does Spirit need to communicate to you? Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Leo. Love and life, challenges and shadows, first half of August. Angels and spirit guides, please. What other advice do you have for Leo? They're protecting you. We have that seashell right there. Protection. Your angel guides, the universe. Your spirit guides, they are watching out for you. They are protecting you. They are blessing you. And you yourself could be in protection mode. You know, you're, you're guarded. You're protecting your heart space because this person hurt you. You know, you're healing. You had to work to find yourself again, to bring yourself towards the light, to heal yourself. So right now, you don't want to undo all of that hard work. You're protecting yourself. We have aroma and memories. So there could be a particular scent, a cologne, a perfume that you remember your person when you smell it, you know, it could be a bottle of perfume or cologne that they left behind, or you're at the store and somebody has that scent. It brings those memories right back. And it doesn't just have to be cologne or perfume, you know, whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever these aromas are attached to these memories could be different for so many of you. So take that for how it makes sense for you. And then we've got flame and eternity. So your twin flame here, Leo, they picture their life with you. They want forever with you. They want to be able to have eternity with you if you will allow it they want that opportunity 
And look at this, you've got 1111. This is another twin flame card. This is a make a wish number. This is a spiritual awakening, letting you know to Leo that you are on the right path. The decisions that you have made thus far to where you're at today, you are where you, you're at right now because of the good decisions that you've made for yourself. And the angels are letting you know you're finally on the right path here. Let's grab a couple more. We have 888, beautiful number. If you happen to be seeing this number a lot, this is the message that it is conveying to you. New opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon. So not just in love and romance, but in every area of your life. And one last card, we do have beard and maturity. Remember what I was saying earlier? That for some of you who resonate with this, your masculine, your male masculine, they might be known for their beard or facial hair. And also, this is letting us know that perhaps time, more time has passed, that they have now evolved from the person that they were before, the person that hurt you, and they're more mature now. They've learned lessons. They've gained wisdom. They've learned from those past mistakes. And they're ready to come towards you as a better partner. Wow. That's what's coming through here. So there's a chance still, Leo, that this can turn around. It's a reversible situation. All right, so I wanted to grab some songs from my Heart Songs deck to add to this. Angels and Spirit Guides for Leo, Love and Life, Challenges and Shadows, first half of August. And if you don't know the songs that come through, definitely see if you resonate with the lyrics. Angels and Spirit Guides for Leo. Is This Love by Whitesnake. I can't stop the feeling. I've been this way before. But with you, I've found the key to open any door. I can feel my love for you growing stronger day by day. And I can't wait to see you again so I can hold you in my arms. That's what they want with you. No matter what they try to do to move on, to forget, they're unable to. Next song, Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. We've got to hold on to what we've got. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We've got each other, and that's a lot for love. We'll give it a shot. Worth a second shot. Give it another try, another go. Let's grab a couple more songs here. A couple more songs, please, for Leo. Angels and Spirit Guides. Make You Feel My Love by Garth Brooks. I know you haven't made your mind up yet, but I will never do you wrong. I've known it from the moment that we met, no doubt in my mind where you belong. I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue, and I'd go crawling down the avenue. No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do to make you feel my love. So at this point, Leo, there's nothing that they wouldn't do for you to make you understand that for one thing, they love you, that they're willing to fix what's broken here. They're willing to take responsibility for their own actions and whatever role they played in the demise of the partnership the first time around. Let's grab one more song here. Angels and spirit guides, please. I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton. You see, I hope life treats you kind and I hope that you have all that you ever dreamed of. I wish you joy and I wish you happiness, but above all this, I wish you love. 
So what they're coming through letting you know here, Leo, is that no matter how this plays out, they will always love you and that they only wish the best for you. I wish you joy, which is the joy that you guys found to begin with. So if you can't find it with them again, then they wish for you to find it elsewhere in your life. And this is someone truly who has matured okay and who's now coming towards you as a better person and that your happiness means the world to them whether you find it in your heart to give them a second chance or not and i'm just guided to this bottom of the deck one you are so beautiful by joe cocker can't you see you're everything i hoped for you're everything i need you are so beautiful to me so yeah they're very much attracted to you still that already came through here. It's still coming through. And this person, Leo, could be your twin flame. Wow, guys. All right, so let's grab some final messages here, some final thoughts from your guardian angel. Your guardian angels here, Leo. Some final thoughts. Angels and spirit guides for Leo. In love and life. First half of August. And let's grab this bottom card here. All right. So we have self-criticism coming through. We, your angels, ask you to please be more compassionate towards yourself. Observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you and make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive, loving ones. You are a wondrous being of light, even if at times you think you are less than perfect. Remember that God and divine perfection exists in all things. And that's a part of this reinvention is for you to be kinder to yourself and release the self-criticism and see yourself with a new set of eyes where you can just love yourself. It's all about self-love. And finally, you have rainbow coming through here, Leo. So this card reads, you are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold waits beyond the horizon. All will clear soon. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. What a beautiful message. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You've been through the darkest times already. And this is you. Look at all that light that is surrounding you. Whether you are masculine, whether you are feminine, it does not matter. This light is surrounding you and you have to recognize that you are eternally blessed. Okay, so this is letting you know that regardless of where you guys are at right now, everything's going to clear up very soon and things will be easier to understand once the dust settles, once the dust clears from this situation to get you guys out of the shadows, to address the challenges and address this connection through illumination through light rather than darkness all right guys so that's what i've got for you leo i do hope whatever part of this resonated with you that it offers you the guidance that you're able to benefit from at this time and again if you're interested in your own personal private reading i've only got many readings available for now and um, but if that is something that you'd like at this time definitely check out my website all of the info to book that reading is down below in the description box and that's it for now guys thank you so very much for tuning in and i will see you next time take care